Hi everyone, this is Sihan. My topic is auto-segmentation of brain mass in stereotactic radio surgery with different target number, size, and spatial distribution. So our problem is that the brain mass have a very high incidence and affect up to one third of the patients with cancer. So auto-segmentation for brain mass use deep learning has already been, has already been studied, but it's not superhuman accurate yet. So our objectives is not to build a super learner. Instead, we want to focus on evaluating on the testing data set and to study the factors that affect the segmentation accuracy. So the, the, prop the properties we want to study are brain mat size, number, and location. So in this project, we propose a 3D CNN architecture for the segmentation and we have the largest brain mass data set in the world so we uh, we build a very large testing data set that has nice distribution of these properties and then we evaluate on them to see the inferences so let's look at the data set this is um, the whole data set we have 686 patients and we have around 3000 brain mass in their brain. So actually this is not the whole data set. This is the most cleanest one we have right now and it focuses on the first time treatment. So we can see in the middle table that most brain mass are very small. We have around 2000 brain mass smaller than 0.5 cc. That means uh, the most objects that, that we are trying use the model to find, to detect is very small objects so we know that in segmentation task when the object is very small it becomes very difficult so i think this is the main limitation of this task uh, so we split this data set into train validation and test and they all have the similar distribution of these properties and then we train the architecture we proposed in the uh, training data set and select the best model on based on a uh, validation score and then we test them on our final test data set so this is the distribution of brain mat size based on the uh, based on the number of mass in the brain so uh, on the most left we can see when the brain only has one mat the brain mats size varies a lot we have more than 20 cc brain mass and we also have small brain mats but when a brain has more and more brain mats the size of the brain mats concentrated are concentrated around zero mostly that's because we don't have so many spaces in the brain to have uh, a lot large brain mats which makes sense. So this is this also explain the explain why uh, uh, the model will performs better on the one map data set. Uh, here we can also see the heat maps showing the brain mass spatial distribution. Um, we can see it's not uh, randomly distributed in the brain. It had some pattern, and this is the pattern. This pattern is also what we want to study. So here is our current model. It's basically a unit based uh, model and uh, with with residual connection in each block. So a image basically goes through this encoder and decoder architecture and generate the final prediction of the brain mass mask. So let me show you some uh, preliminary results. These are the good cases. You can easily tell uh, on the left most column is the image and the mid column is mask and the right column is prediction. And both right side and left side are showing uh, good cases when a brain has only one mat and the mat is very large. So in these cases, we can should a very high die score around 94 so this is good but um, if we can do this in every brain 
then 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 we we don't need to write this paper. So we definitely have some bad cases. So the bad cases you can see on the left, due to the small mass effects, the model is very hard to find those small mats and the die score drops to around 3, uh, uh, 34. And on the right, we can also see that the brain mats are not that small, but uh, the, string, the, the shape is very strange. And, uh, the, and they are mostly distributed on the edge of the brain. So this is another factor that influences our uh, accuracy. So you can see in these two cases, our model isn't doing a very good job. So we want to study the factors, uh, the influences of those factors on the accuracy. So we already studied the influences of brain map number on the accuracy. Um, um, as the reason we mentioned before, when the brain has more mats, the mats become small. And when it's small, it's harder to detect. So in this bar plot, we can easily see that when the brain has more mats, the dice score goes down. So, so for the next steps, we definitely want to evaluate different mat size and location to study the effects of them on the accuracy. But this is different from what we did before. And that's the reason why we didn't uh, get a very good result yet. Because this is, in these cases, we need to separate each mat from a brain rather than evaluate on the whole brain. So we need to co come up with a matrix that uh, can be easily compared with those die score. So we need to think carefully about this strategy, how to evaluate this uh, effect. So this is definitely challenging right now and we are working on this. So, so for the future, we definitely want a better brain mass segmentation model. And we hope this paper would imp inspire people to do so. Uh, because we already started those properties that are, are influencing, or we should say limiting the model's performance. We can find a better way to build a model and overcome these problems. <laughs> either by a better model, which is particularly designed for this task, or we can do data augmentation to deal with those uh, minimum cases. So this is pretty much the progress I've made in this project, and we will definitely keep going on. And thanks, everyone.